David Smith here with yet one more Casino Night Instruction video. A few things before we start. First, this video is intended for instructional purposes for facilitating fun gambling games, not for money. Second, I don't recommend that you gamble for money. Lastly, if you're under 18, gambling for money is not legal for you. All right, let's talk a little bit about poker. Now, poker is a game that's played between the players at a table. There's no house involved in poker. So each player is battling against the other players at the table trying to win the most chips. Now, the way you do that is you try to build a really good poker hand. So before you even begin to play poker, you have to understand the ranking of poker hands. Now, every poker hand has five cards, and then they're ranked as follows. Check it out. This first hand here has nothing. There's no pairs, there's no flush, there's no straight. It's just five random cards all mixed together, but they didn't build anything. So the first poker hand that's, that's better than nothing is this one. This is one pair. We have a pair of threes here and nothing else. So that's like the lowest ranking poker hand. Now the second hand after one pair is two pair. Notice I have a pair of tens and a pair of aces. So that hand is a little better than one pair. It's called two pair. Now what's better than two pair is three of a kind. So this hand has three kings. So that, that hand would beat all these three hands behind it. Three of a kind. Here's a nice one. This is called a straight. We have ace, two, three, four, five. Remember, ace can be low or high, and I'll show you an instance where it's high in a minute. But this is a straight, and that beats all of these hands. It's beaten by all the hands that come next. So here's a straight. That's all these cards in order, but different suits are allowed. It's just five cards in order. Now this one's called a flush. This is five cards in the same suit. In this case, we have five spades. This beats a straight, but it doesn't beat the next hands that we're gonna to get to in a minute. So this is all the same suit. Now this hand beats the flush. This is called a full house or a full boat. It's three of a kind and a pair. In this case, we've got eights over sevens. So that's a full house. That's a pretty darn good poker hand. Now after a full house comes a really special one. This is four of a kind. So we have four nines. This five is just along for the ride. It's not helping us. Four nines is this hand. This is beating most of the hands on the table. Now comes the next one. This is a straight and a flush combined. So this is called a straight flush. And we have two, three, four, five, six, all of clubs. This is a super good hand. Very uncommon, hard to get this hand. Now the final best hand is a, a royal flush. So this is just another straight flush, but it starts at 10, goes jack, queen, king, ace. Now this is a case where an ace is in a straight, but it's at the top, it's after the king. So this is a straight flush. You probably won't see that hand during casino night. It's just a very hard hand to get. Now that you know the ranks of hands, you can start to be able to tell who wins a given hand. So let's say we're done and I have a pair and you have three of a kind, you would win because three of a kind beats a pair. Let's say the finish of a hand, I have a flush and you have a straight. They're both really good hands, but the flush beats the straight. So you can see how that part works. Now there's an added complexity. What if we both have a pair? Who wins? What if we both have a flush? Who wins? So the secret to that is looking at the highest cards that you have in your hand. So let's take a look at some of these matchups. These two cards here, both are a pair. That's a pair of nines, that's a pair of eights. This one would win because nines are better than eights. Now check it out, here we've got two pair. We've got queens and jacks on this one, and we've got aces on sevens on this one. So the aces are highest, they're the highest of these pairs in here. They beat the queens, so this hand would win, regardless of the fact that the seven is lower than the jack. You just go from the highest. So this hand would win out of these two. Now this one is two, three of a kinds. So pause the video and think a little bit and see if you can figure out which one of these three of a kinds would win. Okay, if you said the kings, you're right. Kings are higher than tens. So these two three of a kinds, the kings would win, three kings. 
Now check it out. Here we have two straights. We have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and we have two, three, four, five, six. Pause the video and think about that one for a minute. Which one of these would win if they were both in the same hand? So if you pick this one, you're right. It goes all the way up to 10. This one only goes up to six, so that's a higher straight. And then lastly, I have two flushes here for you, a flush in spades and a hearts flush. Which one of those would win? Take a close look at those two hands and tell me what you think. If you said the heart flush would win, you're right. It's king high. This one's jack high, so that's a higher heart flush, so this flush would win. Now that you know the ranking of the hands, you're ready to start looking at basic poker. Now that you've watched the video, a few things to think about. Run over the game in your mind and make sure you understand what you just saw. Feel free to watch the video again to clear up any questions that you might have. If you enjoyed the experience, please click like and subscribe.